This video is about null values, which is how we store missing data in R. So far, we've worked with vectors that don't include any missing values, but most real-world data has missing values for a variety of different reasons. For example, kangaroo rats, which you know I love, don't like being caught by people, uh, and they tend to be very good at escaping from things and getting away before we've finished measuring everything we want to measure on them. Missing values are also known as null values when we talk about them in terms of computing, and they're written in R as capital N, capital A, with no quotes. And you'll see that RStudio tells us that this is a, a special quantity by highlighting it in blue. So if we wanted to create a vector that had some missing data in it, uh, we can do it by including this NA. So let's work with the same density vector that we worked with last time. So we're going to give it the name density. We're going to uh, assign something to it, and that something is going to be a vector, which we create with the C function, which stands for combine. So the name of the function, parentheses, uh, and then we'll have the same values as last time, uh, but with the third value being a null. So this would be 2.8, and then a comma before the next argument, 3.2, and then a comma, and then NA for our null value, our missing value and then comma, and then 3.8. Okay. And if we run this, we can see that, again, we've got a variable named density. It's a numeric vector with four values in it. And here are those values, and one of them is that NA. So that's how we store null values. What happens when we start to work with data that has null values in them? Well, let's go ahead and find the mean population density uh, across this vector. So the mean value of this vector. Remember, we do that with the mean function. So there's the name of the function, parentheses, and then the arguments. And in this case, that's just the vector that we want to take the mean of. And if we now click the Run button again, and look down here in the console, what we'll see is that we get back a mean density that is NA. And that's probably not what we wanted, but it's a reasonable thing for the computer to do because it can be hard to say how a calculation should work with something that's not a number. And so most calculations in R, if they involve uh, data that has missing values or null values in it will return NA as the result. And so that means that we need to remove NAs before doing calculations if that's what we want to do. And that's good. We're telling the computer explicitly what we want, which is to ignore the NAs and give us the mean of the other values. And we can do that by using the same function, so mean of density, but now I'm going to put a comma here, and then we're going to provide the function something that's called an optional argument. So we don't have to, the function doesn't have to have it, but we can give it to it if we want to. And that's going to be na.rm, which stands for remove NAs, is equal to true. And that's going to tell R to remove the NAs before calculating the mean. And so if we click Run, now we can see that we get uh, what we had probably expected in the first place, which is a number just a little bit over 3.2. So that's the basics of null values in R. Null values are how we store missing data. Uh, we write them using NA not in quotation marks, capital N, capital A, and we can remove them in many calculations using the optional argument na.rm equals true.